Hi, everybody. Gobo, say hi. Gobo, what's the matter? You look a little sad today. I'm not sure how I'm feeling. I saw pictures on TV about how hard people are working in hospitals and places like that. And I wish I could help, but I'm not a grown-up. Oh, I think I understand. You're feeling helpless, is that right? Yeah, helpless. I'm not big enough to help. Oh, well, Gobo, that reminds me of a story. Do you want to hear a story today? I like stories. They're so good. They help me feel better, too. I love story time. This story is called The Lion and the Mouse. Ooh. A lion lay asleep in the forest. He had a large furry mane, long whiskers, and his great head was resting on his huge paws. A little mouse was running to get home to her family and came upon the lion unexpectedly. She squeaked in fear, hurried to get away, and by accident ran across the lion's nose. Oh no! The lion woke up from his nap and laid his huge paw angrily on the tiny creature to kill her. Please, said the mouse, let me go and I'll come back and help you someday. The lion laughed. You are so small. How could you ever help me? But the lion was generous and not very hungry that day. So he decided to let the mouse go. Phew! Yeah. But some days later, while stalking his prey in the forest, the lion was caught in the ropes of a hunter's net. Unable to free himself, he began to roar loudly in frustration. Roar loudly in frustration! That's roar, right! Roar, roar. Roar. Don't you know what? The mouse knew that voice and quickly returned to find the lion struggling in the net. Running to one of the great ropes that bound him, she chewed it until the lion was able to break it. And soon the lion was free. Yay! The lion turned to the mouse and said, Dear friend, I was foolish to make fun of you for being so small. You helped me today by saving my life. Wow! So, you see, Gobo, it doesn't matter how big you are. It's always rewarding to help. And in fact, you know what? It says in the Bible, in 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 27, that God chooses the weak things of this world to humble the strong. Wow, the Bible says that? Mm -hmm. The weak things of the world? What can I do to help people then? What can I do? Well, let me think about the things that you'd like to do. You like to color, don't you, Go? Oh, I love to color. I'm a good yeah, color. You are. I like to color things green. Why, why don't you make a poster uh, to say thank you to the hospital workers. Oh yeah, I could put a big heart on it, you yep. know, and then it hang it in the window. Or it could make a big green rainbow. That'd be cool. Yes. I love green rainbows. Green yes. is such a good color. Yes. And you know, you could be an important helper at home too, Bobo. I could be a helper at home, I can. Yes. For example, when you go to, you could put away your art supplies from the kitchen table when you're done before dinner, so I wouldn't have to. Oh, I could help by putting things away. Hmm. Yeah. Do you think you need help putting away stuff after dinner too? That Can I help with be, that? That would be awesome. And that would leave more time for us to play a game or read another book. Oh, I love playing games and reading books and spending time with you. I wouldn't mind being a uh, helper if that meant that uh, we could help out that way too. Yes, that's oh, right. Gobo could be oh, a helper. You know what? Helper, helper, Go helper. Gobo, I think it's time to say goodbye to our friends, okay? Can they be helpers too? They certainly can. You guys can be helpers too. Yes, help you can. Me, help me, help me. Okay, help Gobo. Me. Bye everyone, bye, bye, be bye. helpers! Bye. Happy, happy Gobo! Bye! Bye! bye.